Exactly as Radial describes, the guts of a J48 without all the bells and whistles means great durability and sound quality for an even better price. These are now my go-to DI for stage applications. The pad makes it workable with active preamps and line level instruments so there is no active passive question to worry about to the 1 and 2 star reviews. Active DIs require phantom and these do not take batteries. That could make it appear to be DOA if you don't know what you're doing. Phantom also spotlights crappy cables. You'll get crackling and popping with an intermittent phantom power connection. I use these with good quality connectors and I seriously doubt one would make it out of the factory with a bum XLR jack causing a loose connection. The description of the problem sounds like you're using a cheapened or abused cable that needs replacing. The most simple rule of thumb is this. If you have a pre-amplified active instrument that runs on 9 volt or 48 volt phantom power, you want to use a passive DI box, cause you do not need a powered DI to run a powered instrument. If your instrument has standard passive pickups, which means your pickups do not require batteries to operate, you want to use an active DI box, which gives a signal boost to your instrument, so your amp and IO get a clearer signal from low powered instruments. Use this simple chart to help choose the right DI for you instrument DI box get a base with active pickups passive get a base with passive pickups active acoustic keys with onboard active pre amp passive acoustic piano with passive mic pickups active it's pretty simple but this is how radial explains it oh and remember that the DI goes between your instrument and the amp or IO you're interfacing with do not go between the amp head to your speaker cab see image for proper layout of the signal chain